Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Madam Secretary, welcome, and uh, General Welch, welcome as well. Um, I will also want to associate with Mr. Forbes' comments. I, I worry that we have uh, at a school that is uh, training leaders to lead men and women into combat that we have individuals who are so insecure and, and unsure of themselves that they can't coexist with the free expression of, tree, of, of uh, traditional uh, religious uh, views like that, that they they're lack the self strength of purpose to, uh, to be able to, to not be offended by something like that. I wonder if they're the right folks for that, uh, for that, uh, that business. Uh, Madam Secretary, in all likelihood, you'll be the last um, Secretary of the Air Force for this administration. Uh, 2017 is coming on us from an audit standpoint. I appreciate your mentioning audit readiness as a part of your opening statements. We finally reached that point. We now have the person that we can hold responsible uh, for whether the Air Force succeeds or not. Uh, on, uh, on this very important issue, and I'd, I'd appreciate your full-throated uh, 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 support for that uh, initiative. It's going to be hard with all the other things you're trying to deal with, sequestration, uncertainties in budgets, CRs, all the nonsense that we've put you guys through. Um, just, uh, the Air Force has the furthest to go. That's not a badge of honor uh, because the other, uh, other folks are further ahead. I've got a... a um, a page out of last November's fire report, which shows the planned deadlines for a variety of things that the Air Force needed to get done in order to get to audit readiness. Um, not one of them have been met. Every one of those deadlines have been moved to 2014 uh, or further, and all of those deadlines were important to uh, making um, getting there, getting the Air Forces ready on time. So, can you give us a and General Welch, you as well. Can you give us your current status on where the Air Force is? Are you going to make it, uh, and are you uh, continuing the effort? So I'm having regular meetings on this, first of all. It is a top priority for me. Thank you for pointing out kind of we are where we are, and it is a daunting challenge. And I have also heard the comparison that we probably have the farthest to go of all of the military services. But I want you to know we're both on it, and we're both pressing and very aware of the deadlines um, in the law. The other thing is I'm sort of also watching the experience of others, and it has become apparent to me that sometimes you may not feel your 100% ready to go through that auditability, but if you're 75, 80%, maybe it's better to try even if you don't make it because the following year you will make it. So you learn sometimes even though you go through it and you don't get it the first time around. So I'm watching that very closely um, as well. So all I can say to you in my first 11 weeks, I've had several meetings on this already. I'm trying to be on top of it. As you said, it's a daunting challenge. Joe Welch, uh, how far down the chain of command do you think the this importance has been communicated. Sir, when I was the commander of U.S. Air Forces in Europe three and a half years ago, I was doing biweekly VTCs with every wing commander in my command to talk about audit readiness. We've been working this hard. The problem is we don't have the tools to do it right. And, and I've seen the same sheet you have, sir, so I have nothing to add to what the Secretary said. We have got to keep grinding on this. Well, uh, Madam Secretary, thank you for those comments about uh, learning from the, from the efforts of others. The Marine Corps have, uh, have finally gotten at least one year of transactions auditable and audited, uh, and they learned a lot by uh, going at it and just trying it as opposed to getting ready. Uh, so I do appreciate that pivot from getting ready to do it to just doing it and the, uh, and the, and the issues that you'll learn and, and make the, this important stuff. Uh, to be able to tell the American people that uh, the, the entity that spends more taxpayer dollars than any other uh, each year, each year in and year out, is uh, can in fact audit its books and present that that uh, statement to the uh, to the taxpayers. And uh, you may very well know where every nickel's gone, but uh, you can't prove it. And so uh, that's uh, really important to us. So again, I want to uh, reiterate. Uh, and again, this is a rhetorical question, don't need a response, but if a, if a young airman approached a chaplain and said, you know, you're wearing that cross on your uniform, that offends me. That makes me uncomfortable. So, now you'll back, Mr. Chairman.